this video I'd like to demonstrate how to use the Trim and Extend tool in Risa 3D. This is a truss, which is a very good example of why you might want to use this tool. I've got webs that I'm drawn here that are too long or too short, and we need them to be trimmed back or extended to meet the cord. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and click on the uh, icon here and click Trim and that my icon turns into a blue marker here and I'm going to click on the member in which I'd like to trim. So it's this web and I click on the web and then my icon changes and I'll be clicking on the cord or the intersection point. So I can click on that and it trims it back. I can also do that one more time here so I click on the trim and I click on the member I would like to be trimmed and I click on the member that is the intersection member. I'm going to also do that for extend. So I'm going to click on the extend tool and I'm going to click on the end of the member I'd like to extend and then I click on the member I want it to extend to. So I click on that and it extends. I'd also like to show you how what happens if the members don't quite meet. So if what, what happens is we wanted to redraw the right side of this member on this truss on this cord. I'm going to redraw it by drawing a new member in its place and I'm going to draw it not quite to the same location. So I'd like these two to meet at the top, uh, but their projections won't quite meet just yet. Well, let's see here. So if I use the extend tool and I extend the left side of the cord, the left cord here to the right cord, it's going to ask me a question. It asks me what should it do at the end of its member node. Uh, what, what I've got there is going to be, is it going to copy it or is it going to move it? If it moved it, it would drag all these members with it. But I'd like it to do is just copy it and say OK, and I see that it, the projection location of the two cords is where it meets. What I'll also do is extend the other side. So I'll extend the right side of the cord up to the peak, and now they meet. I can also continue to use my extend tool to try to finish off this truss.